live from the new sports betting capital of the world. You might be from Texas, but I'm from New Jersey. Benny Ricciardi is here to break down the day's betting board for you. Let's go, Go! Taking a first look at the day's bets, it's time for the FTN Betting Show. Welcome to the FTN Bets cast for Tuesday, May 3rd, here at FTN Bets, sponsored by our friends at Sleeper. Sleeper is the fastest growing fantasy platform today with millions of players, and now you could win on Sleeper by playing their new over under game. It's super easy to play. First, in any sport, you're going to choose two or more players that you like and pick whether they're going to go over or under their listed total. So, for example, in NBA tonight, could be the number of points, the number of three pointers, maybe the number of turnovers, rebounds, assists. Then you're going to choose an amount of money that you want to enter into the contest. If you pick correctly, you can win anywhere from two times to over 20 times your money if you go five for five and get them all right. But the main reason why I'm excited about this over under game on Sleeper is that it's the only app where you can join with your buddies and play together. It has a built in group chat where you could see what I'm playing, I could see what you're playing, and we could all see what the guy who won three days in a row in our group is playing as well. And this way we could all copy the plays and follow along. It's insanely fun when everybody's rooting for the same things to happen and sweating out the same contest together. So stop what you're doing right now and download the Sleeper app to play their new over under game. Have fun with your friends and make some money. Use promo code FTNBETS and Sleeper will match your deposit up to $100, giving you twice as much money to play with. Again, download the Sleeper app, use promo code FTNBETS, make your deposit. There are terms and conditions that apply, so definitely see Sleeper's terms of use for details before you play. Today, we're going to talk about two NBA games and see if we can find some good plays, not only on the Sleeper app, but also see if there's any good value in the betting market with the spreads, the totals, and some of the player props, which we'll get into as well. So the first game we're going to talk to, talk about today is the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Boston Celtics. So Milwaukee won that first game mostly on the back of their defense, which was very good in that first game here. Boston, though, is favored to tie the series up in this one. Minus four and a half is the number that I'm seeing out there in the market. Uh, points bet has it at minus 108, that minus four and a half. So that's the best place to play it if you're looking to get some money down on uh, the Boston Celtics here tonight. That also means that Milwaukee is getting four and a half points as a road dog here tonight. Seems like a lot of points after the way that first game went, to be honest. Minus 109 on Unibet is the cheapest price you can get there. But this is honestly close to minus 110 on just about every book in the market. And everybody pretty much has it at that minus four and a half number. Anybody who doesn't has it really juiced up or really juiced down just to be a little bit different on the number that they have. I also think the money line is interesting here. I don't hate the Milwaukee money line today. It's plus 170. Yes, maybe the Celtics do bounce back and tie the series up 1-1. But plus 170 feels like there's a lot of value in that number there. You can get Milwaukee at plus 170 on Caesars. They're like plus 150 to plus 165 on most of the other books out there. So we're definitely getting a pretty good deal here on Caesars at that plus 170 number. I actually prefer that rather than just going to the plus four and a half at minus 109 on Unibet. If you're looking to get some money on the Milwaukee side, the way that first game went, to be honest, I, I mean, listen, maybe, maybe the Celtics shoot a heck of a lot better this game. I would hope that they do. Otherwise it's going to be another easy victory for Milwaukee year, but I don't know. I don't really think it's uh, I don't really think it's, it's as much of a lock as a lot of other people do that the Celtics are going to bounce back and win this game. Marcus smart listed as questionable for the Celtics here today. He did play most of that last game and, you know, he didn't play incredibly well. I think, uh, I think he shot pretty poorly. Only, only 10 points. I think he put up there, but it's not like this is a 25 point a game scorer anyway. Um, but I, I wasn't very impressed with him. And then I saw that he's questionable here today. Kind of made a little bit of sense to me on, you know, why he didn't play so well in the first game. As for the total in this game, uh, 215 ish is around where it's sitting. You can get an over at 214 and a half, juiced up a little bit on Bet MGM at minus 115. If you want to play the over, that would be the way to go. I would actually be more interested in playing the under here. 215 and a half is the number. DraftKings, Vandal, Points, Bet, Caesars all have it at minus 110 here. These are two very good defensive teams that are going up against each other. The last game, I think we only finished with, what was it, 190 total points there. So about 25 points below this. Now, again, the Celtics shot horrendously. 
part of that was them shooting bad. Part of that was also really good defense by Milwaukee. So, you know, we do kind of got to give Milwaukee a little bit of credit for that as well. Maybe the Celtics can bounce back. Maybe they can make this a 110-115 kind of game. But really, I like the under here. The under is actually probably my favorite bet in this uh, in this game. I like that even more than the money line or messing with any of the spreads that we talked about earlier. As for the prop market, there are two over-unders that I'm looking at here today. The first one is going to be Giannis Antetokounmpo over 12 and a half rebounds. This is minus 125 on DraftKings and MGM. FanDuel already moved it up to 13 and a half at around even money. Unibet Sugar House have this at like minus 135. So this is a good one to play in the sleeper app here because it's way more than a minus 110, which means that there are odds that are saying that it's in our favor to get this number at that 12 and a half and take the over on it. So I do really like the over of Giannis 12 and a half rebounds on the sleeper app. On the season, Giannis averaged 33 minutes and 11.8 rebounds per game. In game one of the series, he played 38 minutes. Game one of the last series, I think he played 40 minutes. There were a couple other games during that series that turned into 25, 30-point blowouts where he only played 30 minutes. So really what I'm kind of banking on here is I'm banking on Giannis having to play close to his full minutes today, which would be 35 to 40. At 35 to 40 minutes, he's going to project for over 13 rebounds if he, if he averaged 11.8 in 33 minutes during the season. You know, you add another... 10 to 15, 20% to, you know, his rebounding number. And you're going to get up into that 13, 14 range right there. So definitely something to take a look at here. I like Giannis Antetokounmpo. Love him on the sleeper app. I mean, at minus 125, I don't think there's a ton of value to take on the over rebounds, but it's still not a bad play if you want to make it there. The other one that I'm looking at here for the over under is going to be his teammate, Grayson Allen, over 10 and a half points. Minus 115 on Caesars, this is. It's minus 130 on DraftKings, and it's 11 and a half at plus 102 on FanDuel. So the number is moving up, which is another reason why I like it for the sleeper app. I think we're going to – I also like it on Caesars if you could take it at that minus 115 number right now. I wouldn't chase this beyond minus 120, minus 125, and I do think it's going to get there by the end of the day. Like I said, DraftKings already has it at minus 130 at that 10 and a half over, and FanDuel already moved it up to 11 and a half. You know, again, without Middleton in there, it's going to be more minutes for a guy like Grayson Allen, also going to be more shot attempts for a guy like Grayson Allen. You know, 11 points is what we need to cash it here, which is not asking a ton out of him here. So those are the two over-under plays that I like today. Would play them both on the sleeper app if you're interested. Now let's talk about the second game we have here. The second game we have here is the Golden State Warriors taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. Golden State won a, a, a great game one, 117-116. Golden State had a lead. Memphis, as they tend to do, had a furious fourth quarter late game kind of comeback. And Golden State wound up hitting some free throws and holding them off by one point here. Golden State opened as a two and a half point favorite in this game. Let's see right now. I think you can get it as low as one and a half at the moment. Uh, Yes, one and a half juiced up a little bit at minus 115 on BetMGM. But if you wanted to play the Warriors today, you can get them minus one and a half, minus 115 on BetMGM. They're minus two, minus 110 on most of the other books that are out there in the market. As for the Memphis side of this game, there aren't many two and a halves left in the market. The only one that I see is on FanDuel, and it is juiced up a little bit at minus 112. Like I said, same thing there. There's a lot of plus twos at minus 110. There's a few plus one and a halves at like minus 105. So there are a lot of different ways to go about doing this in the market. But um, like I said, Memphis plus two and a half minus 112 on FanDuel is the best price over there. There is one piece of injury news I wanted to talk about here, and that's Desmond Bain of the Memphis Grizzlies. Bain probably had his worst game of the playoffs. He had a, a very bad game, shot only three for 10 for nine points. And we'll talk about this a little bit when we get into the, you know, over under plays for the day here, because there's one on Desmond Bain. Surprise, surprise with him being banged up after a bad game. I actually like the under on Desmond Bain here today, and we'll get into that a little more in a minute. So let's see. The total for this game is higher than it was for the first game, which is nice to see. Uh, Let's see. If you want to play an over on this total, it is 227 over 227 on win bet at minus 108, the best price there. A couple other places have it at 227 at minus 110. So, again, you're saving a couple basis points there if you're looking for it. Best price win minus 108 over 227. If you want to play an under, 227 and a half is the best number we can find out there. Uh, DraftKings minus 110 on that under at 227 and a half. 
to be honest, I lean to the over in this game, but I don't really want to chase it beyond that 227. Um, that's a that's a pretty big number. Again, took some furious comebacks and a lot of uh, you know second half scoring in order for us to get there in the last game. I, I'm just not going to be willing to uh, you know to chase at a number this high. If it was in the the teens, yeah, I'd be interested in maybe playing the over here, but 227 probably too big a number. I, I don't feel comfortable playing the under, but at the same point in time, I'm not going to sit around for it. There are three plays that I'm looking at in the over under market here, and all three of them happen to be on the Memphis Grizzlies. So the first one and probably my favorite one is going to be John Morant over seven and a half rebounds. This is one that I really like on the sleeper. Um, you could play it on the sports books as well. If you are FanDuel at minus 124 is the best price you can find. There are four or five other books that have this at seven and a half, and they're all minus 135 to minus 145 in the market. So to get it at minus 121 on FanDuel, you're saving, you know, 11 to 20 basis points, basically, on what everybody else is paying on this. And here's the thing. I mean, John Morant's been flirting with triple doubles every game of this playoff so far. He's had at least eight rebounds. He had at least eight rebounds in every game of the Minnesota series. He had nine rebounds in game one here against the Golden State Warriors. So that seven and a half number, I think, is very fair and one that he has a good chance to go over since he's done it in six straight playoff games here. Um, again, if you want to play it on the sports books, minus 124 at FanDuel, best place to play John Morant over seven and a half rebounds. But I also do like this quite a bit on the sleeper app. So the next one I want to talk about, let's go to that Desmond Bain one that we mentioned a little bit earlier here today. Desmond Bain under 17 and a half points paying minus 115 on Caesars right now. So Desmond Bain, Desmond Bain is banged up coming into this game. Desmond Bain has a tough matchup coming into this game. And Desmond Bain is coming off a bad game where he only had nine points on three of 10 shooting. Now, yes, nine points is bad. But the thing that really has me a little worried about him scoring, you know, 18 or 20 points like he was doing last series when he was putting up 20 a night is the fact that he only took 10 shots in that game. You know, last series when he was scoring 20 points, he was taking, you know, 18, 19, 20 shots. He was taking 10. He had games where he took double digit shots from three point land. This last game, he only took double digit shots you know, total here. So if Bain is less than 100% and a tough matchup against, uh, you know, a bunch of good wing defenders here, I don't have a lot of confidence that this is going to be a big scoring game for him here. So I like the under on Desmond Bain, 17 and a half points here. The other thing that I'm looking at here today is Jaron Jackson Jr. over 15 and a half. He had 33 in game one and he played 31 minutes, I think, and he managed to stay out of foul trouble. Now, why is that important? Because in the Minnesota series, he was basically guarding Carl Anthony Towns, and that was a tough matchup for him. The last four games of that series, he had five, six, six, and five fouls. So we fouled out of two games, got in foul trouble in the other two with five. Some of those games, I think he barely even played 20 something minutes because he had so much foul trouble there. What kept his minutes down and keeping his minutes down is what kept his production down was him getting in foul trouble. This is a much better matchup in this series for him because Golden State is also going small. So he doesn't have to worry about guarding a guy that is, you know, uber talented offensively like Carl Anthony Towns is and also has, you know, a couple inches and, you know, a bunch of pounds on him as well. So I think this is a much easier place. I mean, he's guarding guys like Draymond Green, you know, really like that's not a major offensive weapon not a guy that's going to get you in a lot of foul trouble here so I do think this is a good spot here for Jaron Jackson Jr. I think the fact that he's going to play more minutes is good I think the fact that the matchup is a little bit softer for him is good as well um, again it's not that it's easy for him to score but you know think about last game I mean the guy put up 33 so in a game where Desmond Bain didn't shoot really well and they really needed somebody to help out John Moran so he didn't have to do it by himself Jaron Jackson Jr. was the guy that stood up and we only need a, to get over 15 and a half points here today in order to cash this for us. So let's uh, recap here real quick. We'll go with the sleeper play of the day. Remember, if you go down in the description, you'll see how to sign up for our sleeper group here. You use promo code FTN on that first deposit. You'll get a, a match up to $100, 100%. You put in 50, they give you another 50. You got 100 to play with. I think you should take advantage of the full match anytime you can. Put in that full hundred dollars. Let them give you another hundred dollars. Now you have two hundred dollars to play with. What I'm going to do with the two hundred today is I'm going to take Giannis over twelve and a half rebounds. Remember, this is minus one thirty five, minus one forty on most of the sites out there, and we could get it over twelve and a half on the sleeper app. So I like that a lot here today. 
And then the other thing I'm going to do is take John Morant over seven and a half rebounds. You know, remember another one that's minus 135, minus 140 today. When you have something that's minus 135, minus 140, you're looking at like a 50, 56, 58% chance of that, you know, wound up being something that, that can cash for you. So if you can get two legs of a contest entry that are both 58% likely to cash over the long term, we're going to be making a lot of money if we can keep making plays like that. So Giannis over 12 and a half rebounds, Jao over seven and a half rebounds. Those are the two plays I'm playing here today on the sleep wrap. And remember, if you put in that hundred and you get that deposit, you'll have $200 to play with. If you hit both sides of the over under here, you're going to wind up getting a payoff of $600, meaning it's $100 out of your pocket. If you sign up for the sleeper app here today, use promo code FTN bets, and you're going to wind up being able to return $600 on that, which gives you a plus 500 for putting these two things together. If you go on any other sports book and put those two things together as a parlay and try to play it, you're going to get a payout of like plus 230, plus 240. So you wind up betting 100 and getting a return of, I don't know, probably like 330, $340, something like that. The return on sleeper is 600 for the same exact play. So it's much better to get over there and use the sleeper app if you can. Remember, go down in the description. All the details on how you can get in there are there. Once you join the group chat, you'll be able to see what everybody else is playing as well. And we could all win some money together. So there you go. That's going to wrap it up for today's edition of the FTN Betscast here at FTN Bets, sponsored by our good friends over at Sleeper. Good luck tonight, everybody. Live from the new sports betting capital of the world. You might be from Texas, but I'm from New Jersey. 